last minute, people are panicking and they're calling to register. There are a limited number of staff at Miami-Dade County who are taking these calls and they're in the process of preparing for the storm and making sure that the people who are already registered are getting the transportation that they need and getting the care they need you know, to prepare for the storm. Um, and if you're calling at the last minute, they don't hang up on you. They don't say, I'm sorry, there's no room, we can't take anybody. They take your name, but they can't guarantee that anyone can help you. So they take your name down and they see, but if you're at the bottom of the list and the storm is getting close, there's no guarantees. It's kind of a nightmare for everybody involved. So um, we ask that everybody, we, we try to get the word out to as many people as possible. In fact, tomorrow we're meeting with the county again and they're bringing me boxes and boxes of these uh, brochures. So if any, if you need them to put in any buildings, we have been putting them in buildings. Maria and Alba have been putting them in buildings. Um, and sometimes reaching some of the people in single family homes are uh, another issue. Um, so if people need this, um, you can call us and we can get that to you. So it's extremely important. Before Hurricane Irma, there were 14 people registered in Miami Beach for this program. 14 total. There are 92,000 people that live in Miami Beach. Okay. <laughs> Countywide, there's nearly 3 million people, and there really were only, I think, 1,500 people registered in the whole entire county. After Hurricane Irma, Miami Beach's um, participation in this went up to 241 people. So that's nice, but I don't think that that represents all the people who really do no, need the assistance. So please get the word out that, that this is there. I've also left some additional information that helps, also in English and Spanish, about some things that seniors can do for emergency preparedness. Um, having your medication, speaking with your doctor before a storm comes to say, you know, it's hurricane season, can, can I be prescribed two months worth of something? Um, so I can have it on hand as my extra medication that I can take with me if I have to evacuate. Or if something happens and the pharmacies are closed, I mean, we really don't know what can happen after a storm. So you have to expect the worst, <laughs> plan for the worst, but know that it probably won't be as bad as you do it. But you never know. So we ask people to make sure that they have their medications, make sure that they have their water and food. The fire department does work on the back end of the storm if things are that bad um, to assist, but you can't always rely on us. We want we want everyone to be as self-reliant as possible. Also, what documents <coughs> you have in an emergency, your support network, and um, information about federal benefits uh, that some people may not know. It may be easier. Sometimes you can you can get it on your phone. You can download it on your phone, and there's some, um, some links to that on there. Also, for those people who do evacuate um, and don't need the extra assistance, these are the uh, list of all the evacuation bus stops um, where they will take you to an evacuation center. Now I'm going to say something about evacuation centers. The county runs the evacuation centers. There are no evacuation centers on Miami Beach. Why? Because Miami Beach <laughs> we're, we're a barrier island. We are the barrier for the mainland for when storms come. So you don't want to be here. Um, you've seen how sometimes the flooding happens, and of course the city is spending gazillions of dollars to fix that. But you know, a hurricane is a, is a major storm, and we want everyone to evacuate. So all the evacuation centers are on the mainland. There are. Um, I'll give you an example. In Hurricane Irma. The Red Cross used to run the shelters. The Red Cross had enough staff and was prepared to open eight shelters. The county opened 48 shelters when all was said and done because of demand, because so many people were evacuating. So the staff that was trained and prepared and ready to take care of everybody was good for eight shelters. Then they had to find extra people and you know and open up buildings that weren't hundred percent ready yet although all of them are pre-vetted they know that they'll withstand a storm but they work with the school board all of the sh all of the evacuation centers are, are schools so they have to work the schools themselves have to be prepared and in some cases they weren't um, so there were some issues with that and I know that there was a grand jury report that came out after um, and one of the things that was that was said was that a lot of senior residents um, and people who probably needed a little bit more attention 
were in some of these evacuation shelters um, and there wasn't proper food, there wasn't really proper accommodations for people who used walkers or canes or had other issues um, that, uh, that they needed some additional care. So the county now has taken the responsibility for these evacuation shelters. The American Red Cross assists, but the lead agency is now the county. Thousands of county employees, something like 2,800 county employees, have been trained in putting a shelter together, um, shelter operations, and I believe there are additional personnel that are being hired that are um, medical personnel uh, and people who can take care of the elderly, and I can't swear to that. That would be announced by the county. I'm going to learn that tomorrow, and I'll bring that information back to this committee. I'll give you that information. Um, so they're trying to make the evacuations a little bit more pleasant for those people who go. But I will tell you, and I would ask that you tell a lot of other people, it's not the Ritz-Carlton when you go <laughs> to an evacuation center. Um, if you can find a place to go that's on the mainland that's family or friends or, a place, or even a hotel that you know on, on the mainland, that's a better option. And just 10 miles away, just in, not so far away that you're so far from Miami Beach that you, know, you don't even know what's going on here. Um, and uh, that's, that's a better option. You're, the evacuation shelters are shelters of last resort, or centers are shelters of last resort. Um, there's no guarantee that there will be a bed or a cot, although they will prioritize um, for the elder population. They have, they have said that. Um, so with that, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer any questions. I know you want to move on to other, other things. If I may, Sherry? Yeah. And make sure that the word to evacuate is heated so people do evacuate. Uh, many times what happens is that part of the population evacuates, then others uh, decide not to. Then when they see the storm getting really close, that's when they decide to evacuate. That's not the time to evacuate. Uh, during, uh, during Irma, we had quite a few seniors that, for one reason or another, you know, stayed behind. And um, we, you know, thankfully, along with Maria's group, uh, were able to go and, and give them whatever care we could. But whatever care we could, when uh, the storm went by with no power and that kind of thing, would not be equal to somewhere in land where there, they would be a lot more comfortable. All right, that, you know, I can tell you stories about people not evacuating, not making it, but. You know, we, that's for another time. Well, during Hurricane Irma, and we did not get a Category 4 storm when Irma hit. Irma didn't hit us. Irma hit the West Coast, and they got the brunt of the storm. What we got was tropical storm force winds, and you saw power was out for, in some cases, three weeks. People didn't have power, um, and trees were down, and there was some damage. That was a nothing storm. So if people think that they, they were, oh, I was fine, I stayed home, I was okay during the storm, um, my advice as an emergency management professional is evacuation is never a bad idea. It may be very inconvenient, um, it may be a little scary, uh, but it is a better idea than riding out the storm uh, if we got a direct hit. Do, the, uh, the, all the emergency vehicles stop running at 40 at 39 mile per hour winds okay tropical storm force winds are 75 mile per hour winds now during irma there were some transports to the hospital um, there were people who called and they were you know it was a dire enough situation people who didn't evacuate um who had uh, who were having you know coronary situations and had to be brought to the hospital um, and they were bringing people in some of the strong winds um, that's not safe for everybody. So a secondary that, issue to that is that I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no. But a secondary issue to that is that if the storm is coming through, and uh, whatever wind speed you're getting, you may be getting also uh, storm surge, and that makes it very difficult for any kind of equipment to get out there. Not only that, but then you may also lose power, may lose the ability when they're out there to call for help. So whether we are able to go or not, we may not be able to go because we don't know you're, you need our help. So again, that evacuation, we, we, we stress, please evacuate. It's, it's for the good of everyone. I have a quick question for yes. you. Um, I know sometimes it may be something that prevents seniors from contacting 
assistance mm -hmm. if they have a small pet or yes. if they have a registered animal. A is there information on there? Yes, for there that? is. There are two, at least two shelters in Miami Dade, evacuation centers in Miami Dade County. They, the county gives me a pop pop for that. Um, <laughs> they, they, there are two uh, evacuation centers that accept pets. And we're talking pets of all kinds. If people, people with ferrets and people with birds and things like that can also go to these shelters as long as they, all you need is all of your paperwork for this animal and their medication and whatever they need to know about the animal. Now, there are certain animals that they will not allow in, like pit bulls and rottweilers and that big dogs like that because they're or any animal that's showing aggressive behavior. Um, most seniors who have pets, it's usually a smaller comfort um, comfort animal, which is allowed. Um, when you apply for EEAP, that's I believe that's one of the questions. If you call 311, they have answers to that as well. Now, they don't early on tell you where these shelters are, where these evacuation centers are. Um, there are two that are permanently set up, but there may be others. Um, and that's the same with all evacuation centers, because yes, there's a list that'll show where all the centers could be, all of the buildings that have been vetted with Miami-Dade County Public Schools and the county, um, but those are not necessarily open. They open them based on location, where the storm is, and that sort of thing. So um, that's one of the things you have to stay tuned to hear at the last minute where these um, evacuation centers are for animals. Um, the other thing is when you, after the storm, when you're sitting there with no power for three or four weeks, um, if you didn't evacuate, <laughs> If you're on the 10th or 15th floor of a building, remember, if you do have to call emergency services, they're also going to have to go up 15 flights of stairs to get you. And if you need to be transported, they will figure out a way to get you down 15 flights of stairs to get you to the hospital. So you're asking a lot of our emergency. Not if you're in a wheelchair. And if you're in a wheelchair, they still they have to carry you down the stairs. They have to somehow figure out how to do it. So just, you know, these are... We, we don't try to scare people. Evacuation is just a very, very important thing. We don't just arbitrarily say evacuation. I, we don't make the evacuation we don't decision. Make the, decision. Yes. the decision is made at the county level. Um, our, we, have, we have what's called a policy group. The county has a policy group. They're informed by the National Weather Service. It happens to be in Miami. So the National Weather Service gives the advice um, and gives the, uh, the forecast. And based on that and based on where people are, that's why they will evacuate. The city of Miami Beach is almost entirely in Zone B. So if you hear that Zone B is being evacuated, that's Miami Beach. The South Point, the very, very tip, is Zone A. So far, since they came up with these zones, when they talk about evacuating Zone B, they're also evacuating Zone A. Even if they haven't made the announcement, that's what they talk about. They talk about A and B both being evacuated together. So if Zone B is being evacuated, Miami Beach is being evacuated. Um, so um, it's just really, really important. And on that note, I'd just like to tell you that it's a beautiful day today. Yes. And we looked at the forecast this morning, and there is no tropical activity expected for the rest of the week. So we're good for a week. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good summer. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll, bring, I'll get that information back okay, to you. Great. <clears throat> okay, well, I guess T-Mobile is not here. Yeah, I guess. Okay, I so. reached out to them, and they were very excited to come. Yes. And I sent them on a reminder last <laughs> week. <laughs> so, no, that's just the Oh, yeah, he, he, he just came to say hello. Oh, yeah. Are you Madam Chair? Oh, I know you. Good. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I decided to interrupt your meeting because I wanted to introduce you to our new judge at the Miami Beach oh, Courthouse. This is Judge Stephanie Silver, who will be starting next week. So if we ever have issues that we need help, we're going to have a good good judge there to assist us on our problems. It's so nice Hello. to meet you. See you. It's so nice to be here. Sorry for interrupting your meeting. No, thank, you for, thank you for coming. <laughs> anyway, um, enjoy the Rest. It's always a pleasure looking at this cutie here. <laughs> thank you. You know I love this committee, so thank you I don't for your service. I'm going to invite that. All right, I'm going to let you.
let you get back to work, but keep Thank up you. the good work. Thank you. Thank good. you. Bye. 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 Hold on, Judge. Don't, I'm going to ask you if you take a picture of me with my committee. Of course. Hold on. I'm going to go down here so I come out with all of you. I can take it, too. She can come over. Oh, come in, Judge. Let me have a picture. Sure? Yeah. Thank you. You want to Come back here. Come back here so we can get the whole room. This will be a cuter for us. This will be the new judge out to meet our seniors and get home. Should we go over there? Yeah, what if we all do sort of a group photo? Okay. We all get up. Come on, Brian. As I disrupt the view for a photo. This is what we do all day. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, This is the moment of the <laughs> See, I got you all together and focused on one issue. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Come in too. <laughs> Ready? Closer? Sorry. Ready? Go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now get back to work. assuming everybody has that posted. Do you think there's any other ideas that we can do to promote the committee more so we can have more of a presence from the community? Well, I'm Veronica. I work for the Communications Department. Eh, Veronica, trabajo en el Departamento de Comunicaciones. Eh, mi oficina está en la oficina del alcalde y los comisionados. Eh, my office is in the mayor and commission's office, but I, uh, I'm a liaison to the communications office. Um, you know, we, we know all we do for the seniors in our office is, is, is of high importance. Um, probably one of our top priorities is serving the, the seniors. You, you guys know Gloria Campos and you know all the aides and uh, what a great resource of information they are. Todos conocen a Gloria Campos y a todos los representantes de, de los comisionados y saben que pueden eh, estar, pasar por nuestra oficina cuando, cuando quieran para ellos son, somos eh, una fuente de información para, para la ciudad de Miami Beach, especialmente para los seniors. And the senior centers, I would say as a whole, I don't, I'm not familiar if there's, Diana, any, any, any hub of central information at the senior centers. Is there 
a main bulletin board? Is there a, where the mailboxes are? Is there a main area where where a lot of stuff gets posted? Is there? And we also yes, have oh, all sorry. of them. Has all of them yeah. has that. That's always a great a great way to to to, to promote something because I know some of some of them don't use uh, social media which has become, I would say, the number one source of, of communication, fortunately or unfortunately, because I know um, some of us love it and some of us don't love it. And, you know, we get calls from a lot of seniors saying, I don't have email. I don't use email. Uh, I only do in person or the phone. So we, we understand that. We understand that those are... Or by are, snail mail. Huh? Or by snail mail. Yes. We understand those... Uh, oh, palomita mensajera. Sí, yes. Uh, we, 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 we get it. We, we understand. Because, and we're always trying to look for ways of, of not, not saying, no, you must adapt to us. More more will adapt to you. Just let us know how... how w what do we do? And I know Diana does a great job of... Uh, she gets it. Of printing out flyers. It seems like uh, something very basic. And for some, maybe, you know, for... In my industry might seem a little boring, but I realize that for the senior community, they like to have it on paper. And they can't see it on paper, and they put it on. They want to put it in their purse, and they want to put it in their pocket, and they want to put it by their nightstand. And, and you know that. And so we we know, we understand that, and we get that. So we were trying to figure out um, just where to position these flyers, mm -hmm. because I, I I don't think that we should ever get rid of the flyers. For the for for the senior community, I think that's they they like to have it on paper. <laughs> so we try to make the flyers what as pretty as possible, as 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 colorful as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, I and something artistic. When we did the art art flyer, I thought that came out super cool. Um, we, we 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 can't just do the you know just standard flyers because they've read them all, they've seen them all. So it's just getting creative and trying to figure out um, how to do it in a more visual sense. Maybe if somebody from your senior uh, centers and from your communities has sort of an artistic eye, maybe getting them to create something. Uh, computers nowadays uh, generate okay. so much of free, free uh, colorful graphics, and we're willing to help in our office too if that's something that you feel like you're going to have an event and you want to make it more visually attractive. I would start off with that, and that's how we kind of go about selling something. Then of course your bulletin boards, making those as attractive as possible too, and, and and letting people know that they change. Just like in teachers in school, they change the themes. You know, we're in summer now, here comes the suns and the waves and making it aqua and using uh, you know, some of the bright colorful colors of summer. I think that would help with the bulletin boards, not just making the bulletin boards always the same. Because then I feel like if I look at it, it's probably the same thing I saw yesterday. But as soon as I see a color theme change, I tend to go, oh, what's new? Um, I don't know if you got, yes, go ahead. One of the things I, um, I can recommend that I've used myself mm -hmm. that really, really works is when you put a picture of somebody that, you know, from Council Towers or Rebecca Towers, into that bulletin board, people tend to look at it because they look at the picture. And go, oh, you're gonna quite die. I know this one. I so that's that's a, yeah, that that's a really cool idea in the sense that it, then doing something like maybe you know we took some pictures in an art in the art exhibit. Right. So using maybe that picture to promote something else that has to do with art. Yeah. Right. It's, it's like, like it's children. Like a, they like to see themselves. They go, hey, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's happy. like a paper yeah. Facebook, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, that's yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, we could do that idea for the, because uh, the next flyer we're going to do is to promote the Boucher Brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chairs. We could yes. use them. Because using the services. Yeah. Right. Taking out a couple things. Because they have somebody that's idea. going. And that's an awesome idea. Yeah, because most of them, they don't have Facebook. That that will be the paper Facebook. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a great idea. And, and, and anybody can, sh can shoot the picture for right. us and send it to us. Or send it to, to you. Yeah, all of us over there were at that event for the Boucher Brothers. We took, we took pictures. Awesome. But we need seniors like on the beach. On the beach. Oh, on the beach. Like maybe yeah. 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 uh, yeah. using the chair. Oh, yeah. And that would be a nice way to, because they'll see, like you said, they'll see this and say, oh, how do I get that beach? You know, how do I right. go over there? Yeah. Um, that is a great idea. And we, we can we can all share the pictures maybe with one, you know, you can send it to us via email or to Diana. And then we have like sort of a photo bank right. where we can start accumulating pictures. And then at the end of the year, you can do a collage with that. 
and they'll love that as well because they'll see what all the year activities were with those pictures. That's kind of fun. Um, Excuse me, and then yes. uh, to add the day or the week, because I, um, I, I saw some flyers say uh, um, it's 12, 12 of 7, 12 of 7. Well, Monday. And the men, Monday. yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, it's only the people days. say it quickly, right? Oh, Monday, Monday, no, Monday, I have my classes, no, I get to go. Oh, I have to go. Right? Yeah. No, and then you can get confused with the dates yes. also. Yeah, we try to do that. I always put, you know, Monday, Monday June 12, yes, 2019, right. as, 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 as easy as we can to read it. But yeah, yeah. that's always, that's always something. And you can also have a calendar, uh, a printed calendar on your bulletin boards. Mm -hmm. So then people can see the flyer and then look at the actual calendar and say, oh, I, I, I can't make it on a Wednesday. You know, just facilitate things a little more to, and, and you know, brighten it up so they, they feel like they, they're engaged in the process. Uh, do you also put flyers under the doors or is that not allowed? Yeah, yeah. yeah it is allowed, allowed but we don't do You don't do that. Most, of the, I know time, many most of the time we put we place on the bulletin board yes. and no. in the delivery Okay, because I know condominiums do a lot of delivery under the doors. It works for condos. Um, I, I'm not sure if it works for seniors, but that's something also you could try. People sometimes like getting it under the door and reading it and they feel like you know, you went the extra step because you went door to door. But I get that that that's a uh, you need you need manpower for that. It may be difficult <laughs> for some of the seniors to pick, pick, it up. To pick up the paper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then and then um, I don't know if some of the, I mean, uh, for the for the ones that are 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 able to come to our office, our office should also be a place where you get your information. Um, from our receptionist to any of our aides to Gloria Campos to calling on the phone to coming in person it is an area you should you should see our office as a as a resource center um, we're happy to make photocopies when we can <laughs> we're happy to help you with anything that you think that 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 you know we, we have and we can uh, share with you um, and I would say you know those are those are the main ways we have our, our MB magazine where I know that a lot of people, um, we did a survey and we know that that's where most people get their information from, our, our actual printed magazine. So that was an interesting um, piece of information to know, because I don't know if all the seniors are signed up for our email chains. Some of them don't use emails. So our, our, main, our, main, our main gateway to information is our emails and our social media, but, um, but we, we understand that we, we keep our magazine always um, filled with information and we understand that the flyers and paper trail is, is important. So, I mean, is there any other specific um, information yeah. that you want to promote? Two things. Well, what did you said the MB magazine, maybe, I mean, maybe not necessarily an article, but can you ask communications about doing something about the beach chairs? in the magazine for next time. We can find out. We yeah. can find out if that's something that can be promoted and right. what format like a little, they will promote. Right. Yeah. I don't think it would necessarily need to be an article. No, it just needs probably to be just, just a, a I'll find out. Yeah. yeah. I'll ask, I'll ask Melissa about that. And I think that. Gabby... And also to promote uh, the, the parking. The parking oh, yeah. The, uh, the, oh, for the caretaker. The, the caretaker parking. Yeah. Do you have an way for yeah. people that don't live in, in building like you, yeah, that's a good, that's really important. Do you have an automatic email blast that goes out or like a subscription, for instance, to foundations? Uh, I, I didn't see anybody here from Unity, but for us, for the building managers, for the social workers that we can sign up for to get an automatic mailer for anything coming out of the city. Oh, yeah, I mean, we have. The amount of emails that you you, you, you ask for the information, yeah, actually, yeah. we have a sign up for. Yeah, they, they do. So I got zillions of them. plus, yeah. plus their Twitter. Them. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, yeah, we'll get more info <laughs> than you want to know, yeah. but um, we do. It depends if you want I to mean, do. I mean, send it to me so I can send it yeah. to the committee where to sign up so yeah. everybody will if get If you go, them. and if you, and I'll send it to yeah. Diana, but if you go to MiamiBeachFL.gov, there you will be able to choose what you want to sign up for. There's a like, Tons of categories, and you yeah. just check. We got a great like. senior one. Do you yeah. have? Do you have? We one? don't have a specific. Um, that would be great. Though. That's what. That's what her idea but was. But we, we yeah, promote all the senior stuff because we have it in our Spanish newsletter, and we have an English newsletter where a lot of the a lot of the events available for the seniors do go on that newsletter as well. 
so it, it's sort of like community affairs, yeah. you know, community gatherings, that type of stuff. It depends what what we're promoting for the seniors. Yeah. If it's if it's an art artsy event or if it's a just you know. Yeah, but it, it, you have like a senior it, subcategory would it be could great. Be easy I'll discuss the seniors enter to the computer. Oh, something to do for seniors. Seniors activities for this month. Okay, yeah. you check everything. Easy for them. Right. No, but, but when it's many seems to, to find yeah, out. Yeah, too many. It's too many subcategories yeah. that oh, doesn't yeah. no, apply no, no, to them. No, no, no. I'll ask if there could be one know. created just for that. Um, or oh, show free shows. It has to be made free show for free, yeah. free shows. Yeah. Yeah. Free shows. You know, it, it, it's a, in the internet, it has to be easy, easy to find something for the oh, free, free shows and free. free. That's the magic word. Free. Free. Yeah, free. Yeah, free. 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 I know Gloria takes some yeah, to the like movies, uh, to a show. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some, some of the centers yeah. provide yes. um, discount tickets to like the Arch Center. Yes. And, and do they post that on their bulletin board? <clears throat> I believe so. I think I've seen something like that. Sometimes. <clears throat> it depends. It I think we want to reach out to, to more yeah. than just, you know. You know, the information has to be very clear uh, in um, the beach um, bench that it said the people uh, uh, read the, uh, the flyer and say, oh, they're going to give uh, uh, free <laughs> seats and umbrellas. Oh, I go on the first day, yeah, many people. Yes. Yeah, they, 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 they interpret it. Yeah. And, uh, and then the second oh, oh, one, they say, um, <laughs> you get uh, lunch. I was in the third day, I visit to see this, this uh, program. Um, nobody, no water, nothing. <laughs> well, I, I, I think had that, some. That, that, I have have some. They, they drink well, coffee. They maybe had... the first day they told me okay. the first day, but the, the the other day nothing. I was I was there. I know what yeah. I am talking about. Um, the other thing was uh, um, the, the the chairs. We have to walk. I I, I can walk easy, but uh, I'm thinking about the other people. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult, right? And then uh, it has to be more facility for these people to be close to the way the entrance, mm -hmm. you know. And maybe no, it's not, but uh, just water. Yeah, to be water. Especially now that the summer. And I, I add, no yeah. event should be without water. Uh, yeah, yeah, during the summer months. I know that's a lot. My daughter has the foundation, the beach. Yes, and yes. water is constantly going. Cases yeah. and cases yes, of water. Right. We're having need to keep water. Thing is, this is, this is, this is a, a very good idea, really very good idea, and uh, about the chairs on the on the on the beach, but it could be in in front of the elderly buildings. You just uh, uh, Stella Maris, you just in the Unida, just in the um, another is a four season. Whatever it, it distributes, no one's one one place. I think they just started with maybe right. the, idea is, the idea. The was idea was to do amazing. a pilot. Really really so they're trying to see okay. how. But you know, exactly works. what I'm worried about is what you just said. Water. If nobody's taking advantage right. of it, we why, are they, gonna, why the are they going to exactly. exactly. yeah, yeah, they they move to another know. location? But, uh, how, how do people go? If is a uh, it has to walk, or you parking, or you take the bus to walk one two blocks and then. Uh, and half a block to go to the beach and then to walk in the sun no, uh, you, to, to you find yes, the, the, the listen, thing. But that's how going to the beach. I mean, and then if you yeah, use a can and you use but yeah, I think it's, it's the exactly entrance it's there is from Ocean Terrace. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's you good. just can't lead them to the, that difficult. one space. It would be amazing if you know you lived right in front. But, yeah, it, but, but you yeah, don't. It doesn't. Yeah. No, but, but, I guess, but, but it could be some beach. sort of, you know how the, they do the blue carpet? They do. Yeah, okay. They have that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. The no, blue they carpet have area. Well, they had it the first day. Oh, yeah, the blue carpet would be. It's amazing. I'm going to find out. They were supposed to leave the blue carpet there. For the but maybe, maybe Diana. I mean, maybe I mean something. That. Maybe some. Maybe some people can can also consider maybe doing volunteer work for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because if the, it does take the seniors a, a struggle to get there, then we would need actual bodies of people to say, "I'm going to volunteer from this, you know, from this hour to this hour, and I'm going to help whoever's coming in." Yeah. You know, to get to set them up, but that's manpower. And but I the chairs and the umbrella is is uh, yeah. 
And I understand, you know, they, 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 if they have their water yeah, with them, how do they get to right. the, the sand itself is a, is a struggle. Right. Yeah, the, that's the only thing I would suggest if, if people volunteer, but we'll see how that. That is a great thing. Well, my daughter know, gets a lot of volunteers. You'll be surprised. From colleges, would, from yeah. high school. They're willing to do it. Yeah, for community you know? hours. Mm -hmm. um, schools that, out, that, summers. That, that's really something you could look into. Because they could grab their bags and maybe take it for them or mm -hmm. help them sit on the chair. That, that could be something. But I think we're, I think we're exploring the program. Yeah. yeah. And seeing First, it's amazing how program, much people really. actually do you know, want it. First, we have to see how many people are going to come. Know, yeah. Before that. you order the water cases of water and <laughs> different yeah. things and food and food. So you I have mean, to unless you unless you do it by, what do y'all think of doing it like by building, like, like a, you promote like let's just say Council Towers North is going on Monday. And to the beach, to the like beach. a beach day, like a beach day. Yes, but <laughs> <laughs> how many people are allowed in a day? Well, we want no, a beach day to <laughs> And then we could can, get can the I volunteers. In the working hour, and then for the cheese. <laughs> 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 Let me show you how to do it. <laughs> 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 Let me sit here for four hours. No, I know. And Adam, I know how to do it. No, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> thinking <laughs> about it. Yes, but the problem is they always ask is about transportation. I, I don't know. Into that's the problem. That's over there. Yeah, that's an issue. I have a question. Who is watching these people when they go in the ocean? Nobody. Oh, also, this is life. independent living. It this is, is not an area or yeah. nest or yeah. 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 So yeah. they have to take care of and themselves. Could, yeah. And there could be valuables yeah. lost. Yes, yes. of course. Yes. I mean, you we, have to we, in, in our beach, we have security there. Yeah. Not everybody can just no. go there. It's a, it's, it's, it can be dangerous. You have to be careful with that. Yeah, but you oh, have, to, you have yeah, a, a that. program running for it. But that, but we we have, have, yes. no, no. That's the main purpose of this uh, organization. Really. Hi, uh, yes. my name is Karen Gates, and I have a friend that um, was a nonprofit called Thumbs Up, and she has uh, in place from the high schools and uh, the different schools in the area uh, a set of volunteers. I can leave her phone number with you. Yeah, that would be great. Right. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the idea would be to right. to get maybe the students or volunteers for that day, provide transportation. But I don't know, that's kind of not, I don't think that was the, yeah, I know uh, it's a lot of that. Yeah. 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 It just becomes, you know, a different, manner, a different manner. Manner. Yeah. But I mean, but you have to, yeah. At the time, I think the senior will not go at one and two. They no, prefer oh, no, to go no, later. No. When the song is out, but at this That's time right. the students yeah, the maybe will not be able to, right. to come. So. Not everybody can do the beach. I mean, no, no it's not. not, it's not, it's not, the, it's the, not for everybody. Of, the purpose of the thing is for uh, the program is for okay, everybody to go at their so leisure, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. At their own leisure, based off. But I guess what we have can. to do that. A family member can go with them. I, I, I guess correct. Yeah. So yeah. then a family member can accompany them if they do want to be, do a beach day. Somebody has to be responsible. But, but a beach I mean, day exactly. takes you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. takes a yeah. takes a toll on some people. Yeah, I think we should just maybe just and do the flyer. The flyer for right now. It's an independent. It's an independent living. You have to be able to do a certain level of sure. physical yes. activity. Right. If you're on an oxygen tank, yeah, it might yeah. Not you know, it I may not be right. wise for you to do yeah. that. There has to be some level no, of there is common, common sense. sense. Right. And there is activities where you can you know. go to the beach sure, sure. with with an oxygen tank. Maybe we can promote well. more the, the Sabrina's program so people that need help can go during those days. Uh, if they want to go to the That'll be mobility problem, mobility well, we problem. We have the wheelchair, special wheelchair, yeah, wheelchair, yeah. wheelchair for the ocean, and we have a, a, a captain from the department. I think, the a, I, I think we have to have a flyer for, to post yeah, all the buildings. Because most of the, 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 the yeah, good idea because that. sometimes seniors, the only problem that they have is the mobility problem. They want to go to the beach, but they can't. Well, everybody's welcome in our beach. Yeah, but that's why we need to... But you need something... To like promote, this, to we need promote. security, very important. And I don't know how many people, senior citizens, are actually going to go in the, in, the, in the ocean. I'm not sure of that either. But if they do, somebody should watch over them. Yeah. They can trip, they can, you know, many things can happen. Yeah. And who's going to be liable for this? Are they signing a waiver? 
if any, that you have to think about also. Because we, when they come to our beach, they sign a waiver in case anything happens. And the volunteers also the, sign waivers. Yes, everybody. And they're all wearing bracelets to make sure that they belong in this group. It's a pro procedure. It's, it's yeah, not an yeah, easy thing. So no. You know, and to put together this beach from 8 o'clock in the morning till, till uh, to, to set up and everything. And people should take and advantage. And the setup is like at 8 a.m., correct? Yeah, they and come, the they put their tents and everything. 11? No, they come before 11. It's like high they noon, they but they it's like eat. almost a two-hour setup. Oh, that's, that's okay. Just because it should be from 11 to 3. Hour. But people come sooner. They're so anxious to get in that ocean. It's a wonderful thing. Yes. Wonderful. It's well, so anyway, good to still see. promote it. I yes. still think we should promote it. Yeah. Any more questions for Veronica? <laughs> I guess, no? We said plenty. So like, just let us know about, yes. you know, the website will, yes. and oh. then send us the ways that people can get on the can newsletter. And I, do, and I do encourage, I don't know who, who the person for the senior census will be. Is there anybody um, that, that does a, a mass calendar, that does a calendar? We, the service what, coordinators. The service coordinators? Okay. So they do that mass calendar and they plug in all the city events? Not the city event, the, the building event. Would it be able? Would but, we be able to plug in our yeah. the city events as well? Yeah, um, would be I don't know if, the, if it's. I'm gonna leave you my card as well. Um, also, if you have already a calendar yeah, with the city we do, events, we, do. we can attach to the yeah. new. And I can, or I can, um, Diana, you could also That's give me their be information. No, no, no. I can send you the link point. to our calendar, to our city calendar, so which has, calendar. which has the meetings of even yeah, even commission yeah. meetings. That maybe they're interested in attending because you know they have their afternoon off and they're like, oh, we'd love to go come to to a meeting in the chambers, mm -hmm. or they want to come to another. Um, maybe we have we have so many activities, it's it's, it's hard to keep up. But if, if they can plug in our activities with your calendar activities, I think for the seniors it would be great to just see, like you said. Yes. See it all in one place, yeah. not be like, oh, this is my calendar for yeah. my center, my but then I don't know what to say. Because I like it this, you know, you see. If you can incorporate our calendar and there's no issues uh, for incorporating our events, we are more than happy to share them. And, one, and we do have one calendar. Once, Veronica, what yeah. I do with um, some of the other communities is uh -huh. during our lectures that we have here once a month at here in Miami Beach, um, we allow the community center to come in or the city to come in prior to the lecture and tell, talk to the seniors about different kinds of coming events are, that are yeah. coming up and things like that. So, Diana, um, that's something that we can also do. Yeah, you know, great. You know, in person if it's easier for them to hear it. But I, I do, I do think, yeah, we could do that in person, and then, mm -hmm. and then we can share our calendar. Um, I think it would be, it would be, and I, I would say, may the calendar not be a little one either. <laughs> if you can make it, I mean, even. I know it sounds a little maybe too much, but a, ca a calendar that if <laughs> the bigger the better, right? I think so because some you know we know that some people can't see well. Um, maybe they want to stand from here and look at it. So if it is a board, even if you get a you know a home dry table, erase. yeah, exactly a dry erase. But I mean it's something large, so they're not squinting to try to see a calendar because I know sometimes we do these <laughs> tiny letters. Nobody's going to, you know, from Mount Sinai. Oh, perfect. Nobody's going to be able to read that. So I would say, that, uh, the big, in this case, the bigger, the better in that. In that. And I'll share with Diana the links. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we have a for a update of the other things. I'll show you. I had a picture of it. Yes, it's going to be a larger Okay. Okay, go ahead, Marjorie. Of that. Okay, now, um, most of you know me. I'm Marjorie. I'm on a lot of boards, city boards, county boards. One of the, I'm on the advisory board of the Alliance for Aging. Now, every year we do the three year master plan, and we want to know the, what is needed in the elder community because if people don't come and say what they need, you will not get any money from Tallahassee. I know many of you live in buildings, you'd like more classes, you'd like certain things, whatever you need. So I'm responsible for the Miami Beach area and everybody tells me that more people come to mine than they do around the county. That's because I go in person, I talk to everybody, I hope to see Raymond Adrian here today. I don't, I will go down to him and give it to him. But 
if you just send this to somebody on their computer in their office and people are busy, they're going to look at it and say, oh, we don't need a cup, you know. But if they hear how important it is, I know, Oscar, you will promote this for me. And other people did work with groups, um, like especially Magnolia's group, because we're not meeting until August. Uh, this event is going to be on the third floor, Commission Chambers, Monday, uh, July 29th from 10 to 12. If you can't stay the whole time, that's fine. You just make your presentation and you can leave. But I'm giving these flyers out to all of you, and please come if you're in buildings. Make sure that people do come downstairs in the office and they have complaints. This is the place to come and say what you need, not just complain in your building and no one can do anything because there isn't usually funds for many things. So try to come and publicize it for me, and I will appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for your work. I have some suggestion for uh, Alliance for Legends. How can I <laughs> submit them, Marjorie? Isn't it here that you would go and ask for the request? Is this the meeting that you would go and ask what you need? You need what the so seniors need. Yeah. And they will yes. make, every well, three years we do that. And then Monday. they schedule Monday, like Monday, give July. us some money from yeah, I think Magnolia. The problem with Alliance for Aging is the one is the is the company that's running the program, uh, the subscription for the program, uh, Medicaid long term care. Sometimes we have to be like two three hours there waiting somebody to answer the call to get the senior say, Oh, I will tell you. That's the that's one problem. There is no money coming into the Alliance for Aging. Max Rotten goes every year and then they have the, uh, the sessions and fights for more money. They cannot even accommodate all the people to call in. Even when people finally get their calls answered, people have told me they've waited two and three months yeah. so somebody can come and do their... But the wedding list over there is almost two years. And they're result because they really need to hire more people, but there's no money. The other problem that I see with Medicaid long term care is they are forcing people to go to a nursing home. And when you because know if after hospitalization they go to a nursing home, they, there is no waiting list for the long term care program. If they go home, there is two years waiting list. So and that, that's the biggest problem that we're having now. So if we have services at that. home, I wanted to piggyback on that, Antonio. Uh, I actually saw Marjorie and Max. I uh, was at the Miami Dade Age Friendly Initiative. Oh yes, I was. Which is too. an yes. amazing initiative. Uh, DeSantis actually said that Miami Dade, the county, which includes the beach, is officially certified an age yes, friendly county. Yes. I found it very sad. There was little representation from Miami Beach. Yeah, that's true. Zero. Zero participation. Well, do you think that I didn't beg Jimmy and the mayor, and I said, I'm going to it, but I cannot represent the city. People have come to make Miami Beach age-friendly. I said, you need to be there, and I was very surprised. No, I asked them. Nobody. The deputy mayor was there. Yes. Um, I believe he was a uh, ex- Chief of, of Fire. Yes, he's on our community action he's, agency board, so I know him. The yes. work that they're doing for age-friendly initiative environments in the county was oh, okay. amazing. Yes. And the amount of aging in place not to be sent into, that's why I was piggybacking off of Antonio, not to be sent into an ALF so they can get these benefits, not to be sent into a rehab facility if they don't need to. So they can age in place, in the comfort of their own home, their own living space. So the aging initiative, I was hoping that would come, but maybe we could push it in there somehow and get the city involved, because the city does so much for seniors. Yeah, yes, and they have the sidewalks but we're completely that you can go down with the wheelchairs. Other cities don't have that, and they have some things, yes. <laughs> And a lot of programs. We're trying to get work with them with the foundation to get something at the location, a computer station. Especially, 
programs for seniors are so important. We did this year for the first time, we've had children's programs for our art class for 14 years. It was the first year we did an adult art class at the Surfside Community Center. And there's such a need for people to do things in the day, not just walk around when they get up in the morning, well, what shall I do today? It's important to, you know, to keep your mind active, to socialize with other people. Whatever you like to do, whether it's sports, whether it's art, whether it's music, it has to, they have, but like I say, somebody has to sponsor it and pay for it and have a, a building too where you can come and do these things. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let's continue. Uh, issues and topics to tackle? Yeah, me. Okay. <laughs> okay, Esther, come with me um, to talk the uh, Miami Beach Seniors Expo Hill for next October. Oh, this fall. This October. This October. Yeah, this October. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the next. Yes. Okay, this October. Yeah. Okay, well, the, the Miami Beach Senior Health Expo is pretty much the only one of its kind that exists. Um, we've been very successful the last four years. Uh, we've reached over 300 residents. It's actually held at the North, North Shore Park and Recreation Center. Uh, we have North Bay Village. Ball Harbor Village with commissioners from each respective village attending. Uh, we also have Miami-Dade County Commissioner Sally Heyman. She's going to be attending as well. Uh, we will have representatives from Social Security Administration, from Medicare, uh, County and State Department of Health will be there along with multiple Medicare health care plans because it's right on time for many seniors to be figuring out what type of service or services they want to get, open enrollment, what benefits, they can pick and choose. There will be obviously snacks and refreshments and activities and probably raffles and singing and who knows what else. Do you have an exact date? Yes, yes, exact date. It's October 6th, Saturday, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We... North Shore. North Shore. North Shore Park and Recreation Center. Uh, we are asking uh, the committee for a part to participate and probably to donate if there's anything that we can. We're requesting specifically like an additional five thousand to pay everything that we have to pay. Good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> to pay everything that we have to pay. The committee has no money. So we're not the committee. <laughs> we're not the committee. So. You know, let's hope and wish um, for the best. But we will be promoting the event regardless. Um, but uh, that was like my number one thing that we wanted to push amongst this is, this the, is the, the group. Yeah. 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 I know. Yeah. And you have a big gigantic area. <laughs> Mount Sinai will be there, so uh, many other healthcare partners will be there. There's also free healthcare checkups available and benefit checkups if you're concerned about what exact benefits you have accessible to you including a lot of government programs uh, sometimes it's nice to meet together it's under ac which is the best thing that's wonderful <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be completely covered under ac um, that's number one uh, number two was i really as from the foundation back to where I saw Marjorie last. <laughs> I really would like the city to participate and maybe we can collectively request it as the Elder Affairs Committee to please have the city participate in the aging friendly initiative that our state has. There is zero representation from Miami Beach. And I think it's very, very important. We have probably the largest amount of seniors in the smallest footprint of area and it was very sad there was zero representation from miami beach and there was every there was north well, bay actually, north i think I north bay village, village was there i called eileen higgins and she said nancy and she's a, co a commission for this area when you when you say representations you're talking about politicians you're talking no, about the actual the actual city about? participating with the initiative they, we have to register each city each either commissioners or the city itself or the mayor or any commissioners participating i would just like our group here 
to request participation in that. But who is it normally? I'm sorry, I'm still not understanding. Is it like the city? Should is, There's nobody representing right no, now. It's just the a summit conference. This was a one-time conference. And and have it. Nobody from the city, and I asked them how important it is for them to be there and represent the city, and nobody can. And they have it every year, but the aging initiative has a lot. Just how we have, and we're working with this with the communications department. There's a lot of events, but the aging in place initiative it creates additional benefits for seniors. But maybe additional we as information. Of the committee that we are more aware of the seniors. Uh, if we could sign up issue, on our own, we as a committee can be can be. I know that's what I'm not understanding how we're. It's, I mean, why can't we do it as a Okay, as what a they're committee? looking is like a representation of uh, somebody that what they are and talk about the senior issues in Miami Beach. So, I know, why can't it be somebody from this committee? Yeah, I know, because we're appointed by the city, so we could represent, right? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't see why. why do so you one of us can definitely. Yeah, it's it's like, it has it's the senior affairs so committee from the city of Miami Beach. Right. That's, it's that's it's a, at a state level. This is a, at a state level. Oh, it's not to... just the county, but there's multiple <coughs> cities that are participating. I know North Bay and South Shore. No, what is, I'm saying it wrong. North Bay Village. North, North Bay, Bay Village. 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 North Bay Village. Mm -hmm. They're participating in there, and it was Pinecrest, Coral Gables, Ooh, all the different cities. Commissioners. Yeah. Okay. Commissioners so and it is yeah. Uh, yeah. And the Alliance for so Aging has also participated. We can register Commissioner Marco Gadora <laughs> with his uh, Liberty <laughs> Affairs <laughs> Committee. Yeah. We, can, we, can, we can register him and go in representation of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that would be well, wonderful. Let's, um, yeah, let's send me the information because I don't, I mean, okay. I have to find yeah, out. When is, like, when is the next meeting? Or? Okay, next meeting? No, 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 no. no. We're, you're not. Oh, I thought that was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the alliance? The this is the alliance. Yes. This is the, the alliance. The alliance is the institution that gets the money for all the pro the manage the pro those program Medicaid programs. So that's why they need like to hear from different city, city people concerned and, and every issue so well, they I can get more money. So there's no because right now, you have to be in a line like two, three hours to get... Yeah, I know. But by the way, I, I will volunteer to be a representative if Michael so chooses, because I happen to sit on one of the committees for the Alliance for Aging. Oh, that's so, uh, I'm already there. And I will be your volunteer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me find out how it works with, you know, the city and... Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe, I really feel like it's hard to believe that we don't have anybody. So, anyway. All right. All right. So oh, we got to approve the minutes. The minutes. Okay. okay. I'll send it to you. Just take like a moment to read the minutes. Oh, okay. Can I have the sign your sheet, please? Oh, I signed you in. Oh, thank you. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? I'll go ahead and move to approve. I approve. I have a question about item seven, senior affairs, about the member of the board. Oh, yeah, still haven't had a chance. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's your question? No, because this will be discussing this, during this meeting, but there was no discussion about this. 
Yeah, I still have to reach out to Blackstone and the Jewish Community Service. Uh, which I gave. Right, I gave. Yeah. And, yes, and, and she, she agrees, by the way. She said it would be great for her to be a part of this. Who's that? The, Donna, one that? the one that you sent me? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, if you already approved, then I'll... Let me ask a question. Oh, well, just, just, just double check. Right, you right. are representing uh, <clears throat> Section 82 or not? Do we have any representations of the Section 82? Housing. Housing? Because there is a lot of session. But I think there's a, there's another committee. I'll find out. Uh, I think are the, the, are the, are the other they, they, they don't go to a, I'm going to tell you the truth. I, I don't see them going to a lot of things. They're maxed out. There's just really good. Because I know we have a large, a large number of seniors living in session A yeah. in Miami Beach. And also, uh, NBCDC. How many buildings has NBCDC here? Like 15? More than 15 buildings? More. Oh, eh? More. How many? What's what's on this? Uh, Miami Beach Development Corporation. They used to run housing, city housing. Oh, Beach. yeah. So, yeah. The, they are on um, uh, Pennsylvania 945 second floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They used to run the, the city. Yeah, but they, are they the management Veronica, company? Is it the, they, they, run the, they still have some... some, yeah. some, some I mean, so we can I think, think about, for the next meeting, I think if y'all have any ideas to expand the committee, yeah, how, how? We, need to, we need to formalize, like, with a motion and, and then direct sure. the commission because you have to change. It has to go to commission to change the bylaws. Well, so we have to, to make, so just think about it and then, you know, well, and maybe next time you'll do a motion. To spend information that we, because the, I think that there is a lot of building that are missing and all those great job that you are doing here and commanding them. Well, we can invite them for the committee to attend, you know, they don't have to be a committee member. Because I know like HUD housing is like super swamped and they don't go to a lot of things. I know, let's, let's just say this, another building. Lu, what's Lula? Malula. But they don't have anybody that would be a money. Would they have a social coordinator? or? No, they don't have so. Lula? Where is Lula? You know, the Lennox? Lennox next to San Francisco. Yeah. And 900 Washington. Do they have a social? It's a Blackstone. Blackstone? Yeah. I've reached out to Blackstone many times and they haven't given me. Anybody, because it has to come from the building. No, I just unless, can't appoint uh, somebody. No, unless to, to, to share with them the information that, that, that we're discussing here. Mm -hmm. So so we have more participation. Right. Go ahead, Mar Marjorie. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, has Donna from the Espanola um, Wake uh, Community Center been invited to speak at any of the meetings? Is they running a program and they have lunch there and they have activities? Things, yeah, so. that's that's why I spoke to. I gave Diana uh, oh, Donna's information. Yeah, in fact, that's why I'm going now. But I guess we'll give her the alliance. <laughs> yeah, yeah so I'm going to reach out to Donna, and hopefully she'll oh, become part of the yeah. committee. Okay. Okay. So the minutes approved. Like? Everybody. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Next meeting. Oh right. Next meeting is on July 29th. Okay. Nine a.m. But it's the same. It's the same time as. Well, that's why we're just. It's the same time as the alliance. So we're just going to push the meeting till nine. Till nine. Why? Yes. And then next time we'll do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.